All right, this is Scott from Cleveland Cycle Works, and what I'm taking video of right now is my personal build, and this is in progress right now, but I just want to walk around the bike really quick. So basically, this is a 2011 Heist by Cleveland Cycle Works, and I'll just walk through the mods really quick that I did to this bike, and uh, we'll start with the CCW mods. So this gas tank is a Cleveland Cycle Works stick-up tank. Some people call it an alien head style tank. This one has our center fill on it with American thread. So the, uh, the gas cap is, is threaded all the way. And this is also an aftermarket, uh, some people call it billet. I don't like the word billet, but this is our aftermarket Cleveland Cycle Works, uh, I call it kind of satin finish uh, gas cap. The seat is just a uh, stock seat, but I sanded it down by hand just to kind of give it the, uh, the really old school weathered look. The seat is held up by Cleveland Cycle Works direct bolt on airbag kit, and you can see it directly bolts on here to the stock spring position and the stock spring position below, and there's a small line that runs to a Schrader valve. I just pump it up by hand. and. This makes the hardtail very, very comfortable. Um, I bought uh, aftermarket exhaust from GND. They make uh, a nice stainless steel exhaust, and I really like the way it gets all rainbow up here, blue gold, and then it rainbows out towards the end. And that's their shorty exhaust. These inverted forks are off of a GSXR, and uh, these are GSXR 1000 forks. And then you can see I just cut off and molded down the, uh, all the extra fender mount tabs. This is Cleveland Cycle Works. Uh, this is actually our stock front brake rotor, but I used the uh, GSXR 750 caliper. So I'm getting some glare here. So this caliper is a GSXR caliper just on the CCW disc, and I actually need to lathe or mill this part down a little bit to bring it perfect so it sits in the middle but it actually works really well right now and um, let's see what else well with the GSXR forks I had to lathe out a couple pieces to fit our axle because the GSXR axle is a lot bigger and then I uh, lathed out a spacer to fit the stock rotor and you can see there's also one piece lathed out here to fit the axle and then I remove the speedometer. You can see with the glare. Remove the speedometer and I just uh, have a lathe piece in there. The headlight is just, uh, it's from, I believe it's taillightking.com. It's just uh, um, a car fog light really and it's uh, amber fog light and I think it really matched nice with uh, the forks and then I mounted it offset just off to the side a little bit just for a different look the the bars I didn't want to mount anything up top so what I did was uh, I bought some woodcraft clip-ons that fit the GSXR forks and these are actually woodcraft clip-ons with the Healy bar so um, these have a two inch rise over stock so it's a really comfortable uh, feel and then um, over here, I'm just using a stock GSXR lever that was cut. And just to give it a kind of an old school look, I just, I weathered it a little bit. Um, and you can see I removed the brake reservoir and I just put a little piece of tubing and we laid down a little piece of brass to put in the end there to stop any fluid from, from leaking out. And it seems to work just fine. This is the first time I've ever done this but I've seen a whole bunch of other bikes do it. And uh, the lever, um, this lever is just a eBay cheapo $7 lever. I just like the way it looks, so I bought it and I cut it down and shaped it a little bit. The rear fender is chopped, and I just removed the, the rear light that sat here, just chopped it off. I need to shape it a little bit more. Um, but the rear fender stock besides being chopped. And the tail light is from Lowbrow Customs. Uh, this is one of the uh, tail light brake light combo that they sell. 
Um, I'll probably end up switching this to the CCW uh, LED combo. The bones are stock. We didn't change anything on the frame. Uh, it has a little bit more rake with the GSXR forks on it. And um, other than that, everything is... It's, it's mostly stock. You know, this for me is a very mild chop. There wasn't a lot of welding. There was only a couple lathe pieces. And, uh, and that's about it. So this exhaust is, uh, is quite loud. But that's the way I like it. mention is I cleaned up all the controls are gone up here and even the, the start switch um, I actually put a dirt bike um, you know, really nice just a dirt bike throttle tube on it so what I did was I moved the the start button to, uh, to down here and then I switched the the key so the keys on it turns all the headlight uh, tail light on there's no high beam or anything and then I just press this button to start it. And then the choke, I'm gonna do a, a three position choke instead of the um, instead of the wire actuator choke because I removed all of the controls up here. So this will just be a you know, click, click, click. So a three position choke with the carburetor. And um, I think that's about it. I'm sure there's something I'm missing. but So that's the chop so far. It still needs to get painted. I'm probably going to do a heavy gold flake. The pieces that were, were cut off, I'll touch up the frame. As you can see there's a, there's a mount here that we cut off. So I'll probably paint the frame here and uh, just touch it up. But the idea of this build is to keep it looking really ratty. You know, I want it to look um, kind of old school and not so refined. And that's pretty much how I build my bikes. Um, I don't like spending a lot of money on paint. and just don't like spending a lot of money on them so I, I chop them up myself and I'll paint what I can paint and just do what I have time for at home but I mean I'm pretty much riding it like this like it is right now so all right it's a long video <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,